Bankman Freed, Bankman Freed. Larry Tribe Affidavit, that's what he need. Sleazy Sam, Sleazy Sam. Goodbye, anyone, to stay out on the lamb. Take a crypto fraudster. Add the New York Times. Put FBI on deal book. Say it's gold, not slime. Leak the girlfriend's diaries. Call it an expose. When Miles Guo or Joe Smo's locked up, what do they have to say? Oh, Bankman Freed! Bankman Freed! Larry Tribe Affidavit. That's what he needs. Sleazy Sam. Sleazy Sam. He'll buy anyone to stay out on the lamb. Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here in Foley Square. It's Friday, August 4th, 2023, and we're covering the court, and in particular, the Sam Bankman Fried case, in which this week many things have happened. Uh, those things being last night, a second filing by the U.S. seeking the remand of Bankman Fried. But earlier in the week, a filing by Bankman Fried, uh, including a long affidavit by Lawrence Tribe, much respected law professor, suddenly turning into a Tom Brady or a Shaq O'Neal or a Larry David. Yes, well, he's, he tried to have it both ways, kind of like Larry David. He didn't really say he was telling Judge Clamplin to not put him in jail. He was just telling him the right legal framework, kind of like Larry David's like, well, I don't do crypto, but, you know, in any event. The New York Times, uh, they are against the gag order. So are we, but we're also for the unsealing of the documents that were given to them and should now be made public to the world. In any event, we remain on this case to the end, intercitypress.com.